Welcome to another edition of Mike on MMA, also known as Mama now, because I said that earlier and didn't realize it. So <laughs> yeah, I guess that'll be it. Um, today is going to be about UFC 145, which apparently a lot of people have been bitching about it, so I'm not going to bitch about it at all. I actually really enjoyed it. So let's see. I'm going to kind of jump around. I'm going to go from undercard to main card to everything. So, Because there, there's a few matches that were on the undercard that were pretty damn good. And actually I was kind of sad about one as well. But um, let's start off with Matt Brown and Stephen Thompson. Now Stephen Thompson, um, I thought he was going to, well, he is really good, but I thought he was going to do a lot better, uh, you know. They call him the Wonder Boy, but I thought he was going to be able to do, you know, well, one thing, I don't know if you know this or not, but GSP says that he was a special, he was a secret weapon that he had for training on striking. So, I mean, that says a lot. If George St. Pierre is saying that he's a secret weapon, it's got to be good, right? His first match fucking knocked out like a crazy kick, and, you know, I think he probably had too much high expectancy on him and maybe too much pressure, so... I don't know. Hopefully his next fight he'll do better, but he got pretty beat up. Then we got Miguel Angel Torres and uh, Michael McDonald. Now, I'm kind of a fan of, like, yeah, I don't know. Miguel Torres, he's pretty good. But I didn't really know much about Michael McDonald, and he, uh, he knocked Miguel the fuck out. <laughs> like, bad. I mean, if you just see him, he, he looked like a bruised little child on the ground just like uh, after he was knocked out I mean that was pretty sad I kind of felt bad for the mullet man but what are you gonna do they're fighters right so let's see uh I'm gonna skip past that one let's go yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love my phone it always answers so we're gonna go with Mark Hominick and Eddie Yagen or Yagen Yagin. Isn't that a funny last name? That Yagin? Is. I mean, it might as well be Noggin. But my God, this was a bloody fight. Eddie Yagin, his face looked like pizza after. Dude, you should have... Uh, I have it recorded. You gotta watch it. Okay. His face is like pizza. It's just... Like this. <laughs> With blood and red everywhere. It was... Oh, man. Poor guy. But that was one hell of a fight. And um, honestly, I think that should have got fight of the night, but it didn't. And then we got, which was actually really shocking to me, Ben Rothwell and uh, Brandon Schaub. And I thought Schaub was going to win. Schaub's a pretty good up-and-comer. Rothwell, he's not really that known, but he knocked him the fuck out. Like, bad. It didn't even look like, he. it was like a left hook, but it, it looked like there wasn't much power to it. He didn't have a full swing. It was just like a, and he just went straight down and then when the funny part was uh after they kept doing the replay and everything on the ground he looked like you know when when you get knocked out you know you're you're seeing stars and everything and, yeah and you kind of like you don't really know what's going on and everything well he looked like a baby that was like trying to like find his mom he was like oh, oh. <laughs> like you just watch his arms that it's like kind of scary you never see anybody like react like that like he just looks scared but, yeah, I mean, oh, shit, where'd my phone go? Uh, that was pretty much that one. <laughs> but, I mean, honestly, it was pretty good. And then we got Rory McDonald and Chi Mills. Che Mills. I don't know how to say his name. C-H-E. I'm guessing Che. I don't know. Probably Che. Yeah. But, uh, my God, Rory McDonald is looking freaking good. He freaking demolished him. Kept him on the ground. He just, he basically made him his bitch. I, I shit you not. He just kept him on the ground. Whatever he wanted to do. Yeah, see? It, yeah. He agreed. Um, he just kept him on the ground, did whatever he wanted with him, and then just fucking whooped his ass. <laughs> Plain <laughs> and simple. My God, that was... I feel bad for Che Mills because he kind of just made him look like an amateur. But Rory McDonald is uh, he's a big-time up-and-comer. Now we got John Jones and Rashad Evans. The main event, what everybody was bitching about, now, to me, all right, I understand why they're bitching a little bit, just because there was no finish. But, you know, because John Jones, they kind of got spoiled with John Jones finishing everybody. But the first round, 
Rashad Evans kind of caught him a couple times and, you know, kind of scared him. So, I mean, you can't really blame the guy for kind of fighting safe. But he picked him apart. He was standing, instead of throwing a punch, he was throwing elbows. <laughs> elbows to the face. Like, uh. <laughs> I mean, come on. How much can you just, boom. Yeah. And, I mean, he's getting knocked back like crazy. I mean, <laughs> I'm shocked that he didn't go out, honestly. Because the way he was getting, instead of getting punched to the jaw, a flat elbow across the jaw. Ugh. Like, that's pretty beastly, if you ask me. And the rest of the fight, he's just picking them apart. So, I don't know what the hell everybody was bitching about. I think he did damn great. I mean, yeah, he could have done more. He could have finished them. But, hey, that's the name of the game. He won, and he did it pretty damn well, and he didn't even get hurt. So, don't bitch. He did damn good, and you paid for it, and you loved it. So, shut the fuck up. How about that? And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for another Mike on MMA. And um, if you guys didn't like it, just like you didn't like the Jones and Evans fight, whoop.